In this session, I will introduce another important valuation ratio price to free cash flow. Before you delve into price to free cash flow, it's important to understand what is free cash flow. I would recommend watching videos related to cash flow statement before you compute free cash flow of the company. The formula for free cash flow looks like this. It takes the cash flow from operation and subtract capital expenditure of the company to get free cash flow for the year. Cash flow from operation represents the amount of money company brings in from its ongoing operation after adjusting all the non-cash expenses. Capital expenditure is the money spent by a business on acquiring or maintaining fixed assets, such as land, buildings, and equipment. In other words, free cash flow represents the money available for shareholders after paying its operating expenses and capital expenditures. Company can use this money to pay dividend to the shareholders or acquire another business or invest to grow further. Please remember, net profit or EPS is an accounting terms that can be manipulated whereas free cash flow is the actual profit remaining on the table. Hence, it is extremely important for your business to generate free cash flow and grow over the time. Price to free cash flow ratio is calculated as company's share price divided by free cash flow per share. You will get share price from the stock market. Free cash flow per share is calculated as free cash flow divided by number of shares issued by the company. Obviously, lower the price to free cash flow, the cheaper is the stock in terms of valuation. When you look at price to free cash flow as valuation metric, you should always compare price to free cash with competitors that operate in the same industry or similar business model. Moreover, you should compare price to free cash flow of company across years to ensure stability and predictable cash flow. I will cover this ratio in detail during valuation. Thank you.